So guess what? Notion has announced six brand new features and they're really big. And they're all coming in June and July, maybe even August, since they said in the summer. And I'm super excited. So we've already seen a few new ones pop up. We'll talk about those two in the six. Now these aren't just improvements, they're complete transformations. So internally Notion seems to have identified some key competitors. If you look at these platforms, they're mostly about helping teams manage projects. And they have these cool features like charts and goal tracking. A ClickUp is great because it helps people work on documents and all of this together in real time and chat right into the app. So many of these competitors are also using AI and working with tools like Slack. And that, my friends, is probably why Notion is making these six big changes. So let's dive deeper, shall we? Notion just launched a brand new feature and they've called it Suggest Edits. Now it's like the suggesting mode in Google Docs or track changes in Microsoft inside of Word and Excel. But these features are really helpful, especially if you're working with a team or if you need to edit a document multiple times and you want to go through all the iterations before you decide. Now to access this feature, you just click on the page menu drop down in the top right hand corner and there you'll find a toggle for suggest edits and when you highlight text you'll see the suggest edits option in the text edit menu. Now once you turn it on you can suggest adding or deleting text and you can use these the same way with simple tables on an ocean page. You can also see this suggesting as an indicator at the top of the page. The suggestions look like comments with underlined blue text and of course you can accept or reject these changes from the comment area if you have the edit permissions. And you can have discussions on that comment in the comments area before making any changes. This feature works on text blocks like text, to-do lists, heading, bullet lists, numbered lists, and inside simple table cells. But currently there are some limitations on suggest edits. Like I don't see the option to accept or reject all or specific suggest edits together as a group. Now this doesn't work on databases, on main titles, or allow you to suggest checking and unchecking of to-do list boxes. So Notion has announced a cool new feature for everyone with a paid plan and that's Notion charts. Right now it's under early access to a select few people. You can add a chart with a slash command or set it up as a view in a database. Now there are four types of Notion charts you can create. They're column, bar, line, and a donut. And you can customize each one of these. Now these charts are dynamic, which means that they will change as you edit the values inside the database tables. Now for the bar, line, and column charts, you can define the X and Y axis options. And of course, for a donut chart, there's only one axis. But I must tell you guys that Notion seems to have added a lot of options for these charts. The brilliant thing is it seems to have added relations and formulas too. So you can sort this by property in ascending or descending order, which includes numbers. And of course, you can hide zero value records, making the chart look much cleaner. You can also group by and date by, depending on the type of the chart. I love these chart color options. They include a colorful option, a grayscale, and shades of the same color. And there are so many of them. And the style options, they include stacked, percentage, and not stacked. And you can turn on grid lines or switch them off, both for the horizontal and vertical lines. And Notion also allows multi-line charts. Legends can be shown or hidden and data labels can show categories and numbers. Of course, you can select only one source per chart and filters work the same way as they do in databases. You can create multiple charts and dashboards with this linked view of databases. Isn't this absolutely brilliant for businesses who are running projects or for financial summaries or even for your habit tracker? But there are a few things that are currently missing like the waterfall chart the tree maps, the circular area charts, and even flow charts, which some competitors have. And I do have to thank 
Astrid from Netherlands who was showing off Notion charts on her channel. So Notion sites came out about a week ago. Now you can make and publish websites right from Notion using your own domain name. I made a whole review about this which you can watch on my channel. So if you look closely at the leaked image, you will see some new emoji rows. The first one shows a hand which is writing something. I think there's a new email feature that they've been testing. We might see this come out on July 9th if it's good enough for them to release. So even though many apps have upgraded to GPT-4, Notion was using an older AI model. So in the last 24 hours, if you click on the Ask AI button, you can see that they have switched to GPT-4. And this lets you point right to a specific team space in Notion. And I think that the July 8th robot emoji will showcase this new AI feature, which might be spruced up a little. I'm sure you can see the final version of this soon. So the last interesting one is this July 31st release with hearts. And I will love this one. And I think this is all about Notion charts. So would you consider upgrading because of these features? If you're currently on a free plan, comment below. Take a look at this video that explains what's inside Notion sites. Take a look at this one to learn more about the most powerful Notion formula.